Hey there! Today is the first day that I have the auxiliary electric motor mounted on the side bracket to help me go farther at sea. Per aiutarmi a a fare più più strada in mare. This is a system that I copied to Gianmarco Sansone in the video that you can see here above. This is an 18 pound motor, mine is a 24 pounder, a little more powerful. I mount his own battery in the less powerful 50 ampere version. Without pedaling, we are at a speed going slightly into the wind of 3.2 km per hour without pedaling with the pedals which moreover are inserted and therefore make a certain resistance to advancement at first speed. This is a motor that has two speeds, the first and second speed in both forward and reverse. The support for the motor is represented by a rectangular aluminum bar that has two other cylindrical aluminum bars that fit 90 degrees into the main bar at the height of the two scuppers, the water drainage holes of the rear loading area of the kayak. It is not necessary to drill the kayak to lock the aluminum bar to the kayak but the elastic located in the rear loading area of the kayak is sufficient to lock it in place. The motor is inserted on the part of the bar that protrudes from the kayak, trying to make it stay as close as possible to the kayak itself. Removing the bar is very simple, just remove the elastic that holds it locked in position and lift it. The battery is protected by a dedicated watertight bag that I keep in the rear loading area. Now I'm pedaling and I must say that pedaling is much easier. I'm going at 4.2 km per hour with the minimum effort. With a pedaling with which I would normally go at 2 or 2.2 km per hour, I'm practically doing double the speed. Although it cannot be defined as an assisted pedaling, as the electric motor does not fit directly into the pedal mechanism, the result is practically the same with less effort to advance and greater navigation autonomy. Now I have entered the second speed and I'm going at a speed of 5.5 km per hour. Let's say 3 knots, practically without pedaling. It is the engine that takes me. 5.6, 5.7. I'm pedaling just to facilitate the motor, but I'm practically following the pedaling. 5.8, a speedboat. Motoscafo. 
Second speed into the wind, pedaling lightly, almost 6 km per hour. When there is a lot of wind, I insert the boost, that is the second gear, and we are already at almost 6 km per hour, 5.6, really pedaling very lightly. 6 km per hour with the wind against. With a headwind, we are around 6 km per hour, 6.2, 6.3, pedaling normally, without great acceleration. I have positioned the motor on the left side, because on the left side I also the rudder control, the handle that controls the rudder, so I can control the direction of the kayak either by acting on the rudder or by using the motor knob. So I prefer to put them on the same side, but you can also put the motor on the right side by turning the bracket. Now, let's go for some coastal trolling. Little Tina uh, let's finito. free him immediately. Liberiamo subito. Via. Little Tuna will free him immediately. Catch also on the other road. Also here is small tuna, we release it immediately. Having the electric motor on helps a lot when trolling, especially when fishing with multiple rods. You can concentrate on recovering the road by stopping pedaling, as the kayak will continue to advance thanks to the propulsion of the electric motor preventing the line of the other road from getting tangled with the one being recovered. Another little tuna. Let's set him free.
Alternatively, on this kayak you can mount the electric motor in place of the pedals with a special bracket that fits exactly into the coupling of the pedals. Doing so, however, would no longer have double propulsion and once the battery is discharged it would be necessary to paddle. A stern motor can be fitted to all kayaks, however, this is a solution that I don't like as it is necessary to drill the kayak and because if the line ends up in the propeller it is difficult to remove it. When you are tired at the end of the day or you no longer want to pedal, you can take the pedal propeller out of the water and go only with the electric motor. The autonomy of the battery will still allow a good distance. Eventually, to have more autonomy, you can hope for the 80 ampere battery or even the 130 ampere one. If you liked the video, leave a comment, a like, share it with a friend and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so that you will not miss the next videos.